the players come out as the Daggers look to try and continue their good form as they take on Haven't and Waterlooville. So let's give you the two sides again. Starting with our visitors, Haven't and Waterlooville. They've got Jadzinski in goal with Strognal, Williams, Woodford and Cordner at the back. They've got a midfield four of Stock, Robinson, Bradley and Lee Flang with Ayunga and Rutherford up top. For the Daggers, as we said, it's unchanged from that win against Bromley and against Fire, which means it's just in goal. None at right back with Pennell at left back. Goodliffe and Honoris, who are looking to continue their excellent partnership as centre-backs. Phipps and Robinson are in central midfield with Munns on the left and McQueen on the right, meaning two goals in two games for Conan Wilkinson ensures he starts again. And Angela Bam to open his account against Bromley on Saturday. will be hoping to do so again. On the bench of the Daggers, it's more Checky Candy, Tommy Adloy, Ollie Harfield, and a new signing, and welcome to the club, number eight, Kenny Clark. For those who haven't seen, haven't they? are playing in a white and blue top with white shorts with a blue trim and white socks. So plenty for the kit man to do when they slide around on this wet and muddy surface. And we're underway here on Daggers player. And it's immediately got Haven't on the move going forward before Dagenham clear it away. That Haven't can clear it long up to the left hand side before Manny Onorisi reads it really well and heads it towards McQueen who does well to keep it alive and find Ben Nunn up to the feet of Wilkinson Dagenham really on top here and McQueen's behind again here this time he's got more options he shoots it goes just over the bar and Dagenham are tearing Haven't apart at the moment and they're going to have to take one of these chances Wilkinson's getting away from his man Dagenham have a chance to take it quick and they do Wilkinson comes short he goes down the line and drives inside the penalty area Wilkinson gets away he gets away from another he shoots it's a brilliant goal Dagenham deserve it they're 1-0 up 3-3 three three from Connor Wilkinson it's 7 minutes gone and Dagenham thoroughly deserve that goal and what a goal from Connor Wilkinson he took the corner, the corner short from McQueen on the far side he waltzes past one two players and unleashes an unstoppable shot into the top corner Dagenham playing the best football I've seen so far as Robinson gets caught Phipps sorry gets caught in possession a chance by Unger on the edge of the box he's got an overlap he shoots from distance and gets a good strike on his that's a good save from Justin and Harry Phipps just puts his hands up to apologise he got caught in possession trying to turn out then clips a lovely ball out to Luke Pennell excellent from Justin and a chance for Dagenham to break again Balance is in over the top here and he's goal side of his man Woodford he's pushed out to the left hand side Pennell's trying to overlap Balanta cuts back on his right foot, goes into Robinson, who's inside the penalty area. He thought about pulling the trigger, instead he winds one up. Wilkinson's got a free header, it's a great save! It should be 2-0 though, and Connor Wilkinson's heads in his arms. Who can't get it under control, because it skips off the surface, and haven't have it back inside their own half. Phipps heads it on, Balanta's going to give chase, and puts Corden under pressure. The keeper comes out, but it's not going to quite get there, and Dagan could score! Balanta's in, but he's not going to get there, and it's a huge slice of luck for Haven. Maybe I'll be wrong. Indeed, he goes deep, very deep, in fact. It's headed back across. Goal is cleared away from Monarisi, who was... You know, technically, it was off the line, but Elliot Justin was standing right behind him, so I think Justin would have saved it. Haven't taken the throw before Dagenham clear it through Luke Pennell. It's a long clearance. Balanta's is going to give chase, and it's just bounced kindly for Balanta. He needs to not give away a foul here. He's done really well. He's got goal side. Balanta's in. He's still on his feet. He's got a chance to score a second. It's a great save. Luke Pennell's going to launch a long throw in here. Does well to get good purchase considering how wet it is. It's flicked on towards the far post. McQueen hits it, but he hits it over the bar and hits about 15 rows back in the A13. Even if not a lot of territory. As Robinson heads the ball on, McQueen shows that burst of pace again. He's going to put the pressure on Tarbuck. Balanta could have put the keeper under pressure, didn't. And that enables Dzinski to clear up to the halfway line. Onorisi heads it back where it came from. Balanta is onside. He tries to read a back pass, but Robinson wins the first header. It's headed on by Balanta. McQueen can't get there. And Dagenham go out to the right-hand side with Robinson. Nunn's overlapping. There's four in the box for Dagenham. Nunn stands it up towards Wilkinson, who heads it down. It's back across goal, and it could be a penalty. No, it's not. Dagenham stay on their feet. They go sideways to Wilkinson inside the box. He shoots. It's blocked. Wilkinson tries to get to the second, and it's cleared and try and build through Luke Pennell on the left-hand side. But Josh Smith, the referee, says that'll be half-time here. As we're underway again on Daggers player in the second half here, and Munns goes long. It's got to go across the goalkeeper, really. Balanza, he went kind of towards the near post, ish centrally located. 
as Wilkinson spins away from his man. He shoots. It's a goal! Dagan Redbridge finally has the second, and it's that man, Connor Wilkinson! It's a strike from the edge of the area. It may have taken a slight defection because Dzinski seemed to get it caught underneath his body. Ball goes in towards the near post. It's headed away by Balanta. Gets a good enough purchase on it. Bradley picks it up and feints to shoot. And then does shoot, but puts it high and wide. And it's into the stand. And Rutherford are going to take it. This time Rutherford stands his one up towards the penalty spot. On Arise is there. It's headed away and then cleared away. Only as far as Korsgrove who shoots and puts it just wide. They do take it short this time. Stocks there. He whips it into a good area. It's attacked down. It's headed just wide again. And two chances in good time for Haven. Balanza gets Dagenham attacking and on the right hand side after picking up a loose pass Wilkinson picks up the ball drives in file inside the penalty area shoots puts it just wide probably would have expected him to hit the target given the form he's been in he was inside the penalty area Dagenham all lined up on the opposite side of the flank and McQueen drills it high and far out there so you have to get good header back into here Wilkinson inside the area picks up on a loose ball he drops the man on the floor with a brilliant bit of skill he's inside the area cuts it back shoots Dagenham oh I thought I was about to say Dagenham scored a third it was Ben Goodliffe. Connor Wilkinson does superb. He drops the man with a little turn in the shoulder. Have it go long. Looking for Cosgrove up against Clark. Clark climbs high, wins it. And clears before Goodliffe steps in to send it further field. Dagenham finally get the ball down. And Balanta's got McQueen bursting down the right hand side. Balanta driving a goal. He's got a chance to shoot himself. He does shoot. He does score. Game over. Angelo Balanta runs straight through the heart of the Haven and Waterlooville defence. And it makes it Dagenham 3, Haven and Waterlooville 0. Before McQueen wins the throw. Candy makes a good run and McQueen spots him. And Candy goes back to McQueen. 20 yards out on the right hand side. Infield to Robinson. He reverses a lovely ball to Munz. He's inside the area. He shoots. Oh, wow. It's got a long way wide, so I don't know why I got so excited. And another clean sheet in the offing. Let's not speak too soon, though, because here come Haven on the left-hand side with Tarbar. Onorisi squares him up, and McQueen's there with him. Good defending from McQueen. A shot comes in. Oh, my word, I thought it had gone in. It's stripped and ready to come on as we are inside the final ten minutes here. It's Dagenham 3, Haven at Waterlooville 0. The ball goes long from the free kick. McQueen picks it up. He's centrally located. He goes to Robinson, who goes out to Candy, who spins and goes back to Onorisi, who goes up to McQueen, who has a lovely touch to get away from his man, who drives infield and then tries a reverse ball to Mums, who puts it back across goal, and he should do better. He's put it wider than near post. They haven't created many opportunities, but they've certainly worked hard for their fans. Here comes the cross, it's a decent one. Goodliffe is able to head it away with no real pressure and find Balanza, who slows it down and finds McQueen with a good pass. McQueen will burst away, but Turbuck's pretty quick, so Candy rolls his man and gets away on the right hand side Harfield's burst in to get into the box the ball goes in towards Harfield who can't quite get there it's an excellent cross from Checky Candy and uh, Dagenham can easily intercept and knock it out of the way for a throw on the halfway line which they take quickly back to the goalkeeper who comes out of his area he's up in halfway inside his own half he launches it long Dagenham have got a lot of big men and Kenny Clark's one he gets the first header and a chance here for Haven and they've scored Haven and Waterloo have scored a goal through Jordan Iunga, one long ball downfield. Kenny Clark was beaten in the air, and credit where it's due, Jordan Iunga chipped the ball deftly over the unrushing Elliot Justin. And I said they were looking for a foothold. They've got one now. Keep the ball, but uh, they get a little bit lucky there as Phipps drills the ball against his own man. Phipps steps in and tries to win the ball back, but haven't have got it. And driving forward is Rutherford. He's a long way out though. He's Puts on his left foot, shoots from distance, but it's a weak effort. Other good performances out there. Balanta, McQueen, Munns all had good games. And Robinson and Phipps have played well again together. Ball goes long. Kenny Clark wins the first header, but it uh, comes off the back of his head and it goes out to Tarbuck, who's trying to get away from McQueen. Bradley has it, and he sends it out to the right-hand side. Has haven't drive at Ollie Harfield, up towards the edge of the penalty area. Goes down towards the byline, tries to cross it in. Appeals for a penalty from the fans but nothing from the linesman who had a very good view of it and it will be a goal kick to Dagenham and Redbridge I think he's booking somebody as well uh, for a 
bit of dissent, I think. And there'll be three minutes of additional time here. Can Alex Bradley sign off in style for Haven? He's 30-odd yards out, right-footed with a four-man wall. He steps up to the ball now, bends it into the wall, and that's going to be that. And Dagenham make it five wins in six games. What a turnaround we're seeing here.